To balance this equation, potassium hydroxide plus copper 2 sulfate yields copper 2 hydroxide plus potassium sulfate. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. On the reactant side, we have one potassium atom. And then since I have this hydroxide here, this OH here, and I see an OH over here, I'm just going to call the OH one item. So I'm going to say I have OH, I have one of those. I have one copper. And then for the sulfate, I have a sulfate here, and then I have a sulfate here. I'm just going to say I have one SO4 group, one sulfate. That's going to make things a lot easier. So when I come over onto the product side, for potassium, I have the two. For the hydroxide, this two applies to everything here. So I have two of these hydroxides. Copper, I have one. And then sulfate, I have one of those. So it looks like that I have twice as many potassiums and twice as many what the heck? Virus protection. Go away. It looks like I have twice as many potassiums as I do hydroxides. And to fix that, I can just put a coefficient of 2 in front of the potassium hydroxide, it's KOH here. So now, for the OH, the hydroxide, I have 1 of these times 2. That equals 2. Those are balanced. And then 1 times the 2 for the potassium. I have 2 of those. And this equation is balanced. We're done. If you would have added up all the individual oxygens and hydrogens, you would have gotten the same answer when you balanced it. It just would have probably taken you a lot longer. So this is the balanced equation for KOH plus CuSO4 yields CuOH2 plus K2SO4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.